Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Pocket. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recover deleted photos, videos, or any other kind of data from your Apple device using Dota Phone iOS Recovery. So, let's get started. Dr. Phone iOS Data Recovery gives you the opportunity to recover deleted data from your Apple device, plus a lot more. It's available for both Windows and Mac, of course, and of course, you have the option to try it for free in order to see whether it suits for you. Furthermore, you can always go to the Buy Now page and then you can purchase the full version of it. And most importantly, it's, it's compatible with iOS 11, so you don't have to worry about the current version of iOS of your Apple device. Furthermore, you can recover data from your iTunes backup and of course from, from iCloud backup. So without further ado, let's go through the review. This is how the application looks like once you, once you open it. As you can see, you got the recovery option and also, very importantly, the repair option which allows you to repair your iOS system. Furthermore, you got a bunch of other options like transfer, switch which allows you to, to copy data from another iPhone, backup and restore allowing you to backup, uh, backup your data from your Apple device and restore them, erase making it very easy for you to erase all of the data from your iPhone and unlock allows you to remove the, your phone lock screen. In our case, we're gonna we're gonna emphasize on two options, which is the recovery and repair. So let's go through the recovery mode first. Now you need to take your Apple device and connect it to your computer, and you need to wait until Doctor Phone recognizes it. Here you need to tell the software what kind of data you would like it to search from. If you want only to search from deleted data, then you need to deselect this because this is going to slightly reduce the the amount of time of scanning. And here are all the kind of deleted data which is going to search from. So this includes messages, contacts, call history, uh, vibrant attachments, and all those kinds of stuff. So I'm going to leave them all checked and then I'm going to click on start scan. Also, you can also recover from iTunes backup file and also recover from iCloud backup file. And after that, you're going to go on click on scan. This is going to take some time to scan. so. Just lay back, relax until this process is done. So now the scanning process is done and now I can see all of my deleted data from my iPhone which have been recovered and now I have the option to take them all and then export them to my Mac computer. So this includes all of my messages or attachments. So all these are actually photos which I have actually removed after that and they are so up here. Uh, then I can move on to notes. So these are all the notes which I have deleted as well. And let's move on to attachments, which is there. And also you can go to Safari bookmarks and all of those bookmarks that I have done. So these are, and also you can include messages, call history, contacts, and calendar as well. So these are all data we, we, which you have actually um, removed from your iPhone. Now, before I go through the process on how to export your deleted data to your computer, I need to go over on some problems that you may encounter when scanning your device. So the first and most important is that you may have an error message saying, analysis is unsuccessful, please reconnect the device to your computer and try again. So this is very annoying error and the reason why you, you're having this error is because of a number of reasons. Number one is probably because you haven't backed up your data uh, from your phone with iTunes and that's quite silly and unfortunately Dr. Phone requires you to have a backup from your uh, device. Uh, please make sure to avoid encrypting your backup because for some reason Dr. Phone doesn't really like encrypted backups but sometimes it may work, sometimes it doesn't. So I will highly recommend you to backup data without uh, encrypting it. So how do you backup data? So simply you need to navigate to iTunes and unfortunately iTunes cannot be launched at the same time with Dr. Phone. So simply navigate to iTunes, go to your device with a little square button on the right of all the buttons on the left of, of, of iTunes. So click on that and then you're gonna see your information about your device. So Scroll a little bit, a little bit down, and then you, you should see a button saying "backup data" or "backup phone" or something like this. So click on this button, and after the process is finished, then you can reopen Doctor Phone and then perform the scan again. 
Another issue is that you may have outdated iTunes version, so make sure to update iTunes. And if you cannot, then you, need, you may need to uh, update the whole operating system from your computer you know, to support the newer version. And another one, which may not work, but I highly recommend you try, to try out, is to reconnect your device, uh, reboot your device, I mean like uh, power off your iPhone and then power it on again, and restart your computer. So do those stuff and then try again to see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then navigate to this website here, which is called Data Recovery for iOS Fax. I have the link in the description, so it's going to be a lot quicker if you could go to the description and then click on this link. And navigate to this question six. What do you do if you get the analyze failed error? So here it gives you a bunch of other options as well to, to try out, to try and resolve, resolve this issue. And if you try and follow those and still doesn't work, then please go ahead and contact Wondershare by going to the online support link in the bottom of their official website. Then scroll down and click here. And, and this is going to give you some ideas of, of the problem. And if you cannot find it here, then click on no, no help, click on for direct customer service assistance. And then you're going to type the problem here and what you did and what you didn't do. And then set it off, fill in your, um, information here and then send off the message and they still respond. So now back to, to show you how to export those files on your Mac. So click on your iPhone device to check all the data, all of your uh, files to recover and then click on export to your computer. And then I will save it as this and I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can show you how it's going to look like. Then I'm going to click on save and then this should take some time. So again, lay back, relax, and it finishes very quickly. So here are all of your data. So let's go to, for example, note attachments. Then this can show me all the pictures of uh, the attachments that I made. I uh, can go to, for example, messages, and this is in the format of HTML or CSV, comma separated values, and you can open on either of those two formats. And then you got uh, the other files as well. So now I'll show you how to recover deleted uh, data. So what about recovering your iOS system? So let's say a failure happens and then you want to recover. So I'm going to go back. Basically, I'm going to close this window. And then I'm going to repair. So this is the other, the other big tab. So you're going to click on repair. So here are some examples of how uh, Dr. Phone can fix uh, common issues which may happen to your device. So for example, I can fix can fix the issue where your device is stuck on at app logo, recovery mode loop, back black screen, and others. So this is a very handy tool to use uh, to fix those very common issues which may happen with iOS. Uh, again, it's supported with iOS 11, so it should work with iOS 11 as well. So then you can click on start, and then give you some uh, overview on why the recover may fail. So you need to check on those first. And after you're done, you click on OK. And then here it gives you an overview on how this is done. So the first step is to connect your device and click Start. Then hold Power Button and Home Button at the same time. And then release the Power Button in order to enter the DFU mode. And also I need to mention that this is going to update your device to the latest version of iOS after recovering. So I'm not going to do this process right now, but, you need, but simply you need to follow all these steps um, and it should be alright and the problem should be solved. If it's not solved it, then again make sure to contact Wondershare once again and tell them what exactly you did you know, to try to fix the error and they should give you the best solution possible. And lastly, I would like to go through and lock how to remove your iPhone's lock screen uh, because it's very important and many people forget actually their uh, passwords. I would like to go through this very briefly before ending this video so let's go through unlock and here it gives you a, a little warning on during this process what is going to happen so this the most important is that this is going to erase all of your data from your iphone all of it so you will end up like getting a new iphone from the app store so literally there is not actually no way to um remove the the password from your iphone without erasing it because apple has made it so strict to make it almost impossible for someone 
who doesn't know the password to access your phone. So don't blame me about this. Go and blame Apple about this. And hopefully they're going to change their, their mind. Let's hope they will. Um, and also the iOS is going to be updated to the latest version after restoring classics. And, and also ensure that the device has enough power classics as well. So once you are 100% sure that you would like to perform this process, click on start and then you may follow all the instructions that Dr. Phone is going to give you. I'm not going to do this right now because I don't want uh, to remove all of my data. So that was a brief explanation of how this feature works. And further than that, you got also the other options as well. And that brings to the end of this video. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Share this with your friends if they're experiencing an issue with their iPhone and you'd like to help them out. And also, the most important, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new visitor to this channel and you'd like to see more of our contents. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.